In this problem, we have a thin-walled pressure vessel that has a wall thickness of 0.01 meters, an inside diameter of 0.5 meters, and a pressure inside the pressure vessel of 207 kilopascals. We want to find out what the hoop stress of the cylindrical portion of the pressure vessel is. It is important to know that the formula that we will be using only works on a thin-walled pressure vessel. If the thickness is less than or equal to one-tenth the inside radius of the tank, the formula we are using is going to work. Now you're probably wondering what hoop stress is. Hoop stress is the stress that happens around the circumference of a circle due to a force acting around the circumference. So inside the pressure vessel, we have a pressure pushing out as shown in the diagram. We really are only interested in the pressure that is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. So we'll take the pressure of 207 kilopascals and multiply it times the internal pressure vessel diameter and then multiply that times the length of the cylinder to get how much force is acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. Now we can take the force we found and divide by the two cross-sectional areas formed when taking a cross-section of the pressure vessel. The reason why we divide by two times the area is because we have two separate cross-sectional areas that are identical. The two cross-sections are labeled with a red line. The force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane is marked with a yellow arrow. To further visualize the formula, we have that the pressure times the internal diameter of 0.5 meters times the length gets us to the force acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional plane. We then divide that force by the two areas formed when taking a cross-section of the pressure vessel. So the force pushing the pressure vessel apart divided by two times the pressure vessel thickness times the length equals the hoop stress. Let's start simplifying the formula. The initial formula is pressure times the internal diameter times the length over two times the length times the thickness. So now we notice that we are really just dividing length by length, so it cancels out. We also notice that we are dividing by two, so the diameter can be changed to radius being that radius is half of the diameter. Now we can plug in our internal radius of 0.25 meters, our internal pressure of 207 kilopascals gauge, and our thickness of our pressure vessel of 0.01 meters. After plugging our equation into our calculator, we get a hoop stress of 5,175,000 pascals, or newtons per meter squared. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you like this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thanks for watching.